Hi everyone, welcome to Antiman channel. My name is Yum. I'm often talking about web, blockchain, and AI. Today, topic about Copilot chance with NeoVim. I had a video on my channel in Vietnamese, but if you want to see how it how it work, look like how it work, you can check out this video. And let me tell you a bit about why I create this content and why this plugin is useful. So first. This is a discussion on GitHub community. A lot of people asking when Coblos.vim will support Coblos Charts. And a lot of discussion back and forth between users like us and the GitHub company. And at the end, we, we don't have clear roadmap when it happened. But it just say you should check the roadmap. And one day they uh, Plugin come to my mind that's the CBLAN, Public Chest, and Beam. And I check it out and it works nicely. So that's why I created the video about it. And then a time by past a week ago or so, there is another user. So this is my fault by on BT LAN report. And he mentioned about display handler this is amazing for me because if you have a use chat dot nv plugin it's similarly and i think that it would be good if we can bring this experience to a couple of chats and uh, we got the answer from gbt lens so she was working together and we come up with how we can collaborate together and right now, if you check out the repo, main repo of my phone is the same. And you're going to see this is the result. So you have the, the configuration and you have the chat and you can solve the help on chat or you have different mode you can debug. And this is the new command I just show you. So that that new. And if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see the demo here. I recall this like a white bar so you are a little bit different but the the way it work is the same so you can use a couple of charts to add plan or generate text for you and this is a new thing so the first one is couple of charts visible visual so you can see let the code and you can ask something and it will open on the right for you so on the right here you see the token counts and it's folding so that's a new and this is a new command so you can use couple of charts in play and and from here you can have the i i support by on the visual mouse the same thing both working on visual mouse so what new up to now and by on that i create a release version on my fork because i think it would be good to see what is the difference between the comic with play. I want to have stable version. If we keep working on main, some user we got the error. So if you want a stable version, it should stick to the version like version one. And so far I created a few versions. So version one is the time when we had a stable version between in play command. And then from version one 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 I had a debug command here. So what is this one? So this is the, the debug command. Because a lot of people go to ask on the report about what is going on with my try and is it got different error. So I summarize what is the way you're checking. So when you run this command, it will help you where you log file, where the remote plug in file, how to enable thing. And also on wiki, they had triple sorting page and you got to follow along here to see how to debug, how to do when it's, you see something weird, what happened. And recently that it, at the time I record this video, I had a new feature and this just landing on main branch. Because some people ask me, like, 
when you finish the first question and got the answer from Copilos, how to keep asking another question. So that's why I put the at the end the answer by Copilot and the time when you asking and uh, another useful information like if you want to ask more questions you can use the Copilot chat comment so that is so up to now all right uh let's go to the more because I think people want to see how it's working rather than go through the feature right this is in my config. So the first thing I want to show you, I had the Copilot chart here. So this one, so this one, I right now I use lazy Vim, so I can import the first line here, import the Copilot chart. Then I have a flash to depend on if I want one working on my local folder or working with the remote story I had it appear to enable on off then I use the my fork or if you want you can use dvt lang copy law just so this is the the main report it depends but then slightly different because of the behavior so but keep in mind it's the same it's the same report I I have three options here, so help which means whenever I run the command like this one, I have C C S so it will this is a help session. When I press tab to navigate to the help session here, I can navigate to see what is the K binding for this UI, this only this command. So I press Q to which so this this is so help and the prompt okay let me explain how this prompt work i had a list of things on the top here so the prompt here basically you can create any predefined prompt that you want and when you create this one it will create a set of command so you see here this couple got below charts something and this will combine like on the top you had explain so you have explain here so when you have explain and then you have comments got below charts explain or if i had a test on from here and then i gonna have a got below charts test coming and i group by on what i want like the first one i got related comment and then I can have text command and some special, for example. I had chat with Kobolos in visual mode. So which means if I select a text, I select that text here, I can space C C B. So it will open the command and I can explain like explain how it will enter. And then you're gonna see on the right. The difference here, I always set the split mode, I drop the new buffer mode. So you can see the result on the right. And when it's finished, you see the, the this line is like answer by Publos and the model DDD4 at the time I record the video. And if you want to ask more, because here, like the receipt I mentioned, has CCI to ask Publos. So from this buffer, I can ask more like by C C I. So it will show the UI ask copy loss here. I can ask uh what let's ask comment for this hey by the and now, now you see the one is processing if they have a spinner on the top and it when it Finish, you see the message on the bottom when it say done. So you know when it happened and when it finished. And one more thing, this is a new. So now you see here this arrow here is say sys, which means they are folding. I can I can close and open. So they have this folding here. So the open, close, open, close. So you can see what I do here. So if I select the line and I, I can see the the current setting. So 
for the first one you can close this setting so let me demo as a new thing the next one is the visual so yeah let's say i, I want to select this line this block i can space c c s so this they have the default setting so you have original on the left it has cover lock on the right and you can tap to navigate between box here we have four box and when you are on the prom you can have different way let's say you you, see, you can use the cursor to navigate to the prom binding here so this this is prom binding which means if i press s to accept from the separate and when i enter you see that the spinner is working and now you see on the the right the cover loss will show the response it's had the command separate the cost session so this is what the response from cover loss and then there are a few very cool things here so you can use ctrl p and ctrl n to your your predefined prompt for example now it's navigate back to the prompt here and i i can change easily so this is what i say predefined so you can do what you want and then you have a mod so this mod now the gpt4 you can use ctrl g to toggle the mod and remember every binding now is on this box so you need to navigate back to you see and you see and now it's changed to gpt4 and gpt315 and ctrl m with will change the system prompt so this is it from now you can ctrl m and you see it has different results so when you do this one and this is the system prompt and this is a user prompt so that's what you input to puppet loss so if you enter and you're gonna get the result from explain from couple of with dvd 3.5 and if now I, I switch the model now it's gpt4 and they uh the binding to clear the result if you you want control l you clear the result and now if i press enter one more time enter and now it's working so this is the result from gpt4 with the system prompt And now you can navigate, navigate back and to see, okay, this is the result. And the, the, they have a prompt is called deep. So you can deep check between Ctrl D. You see here, Ctrl D. You see the deep between original and the cover response. And the finally, when you're on the prompt here, you, if you want to accept, this is the result. You can use control enter and this will be accept the response from couple of and replay the original. Now you see here. That's what it what you do. Alright. The final command that's what I just say that I labeled. So you can if you type in copy loss charge debug info. This will open debug info here. It will tell you where you can look on the log, which means when you are enable the debugging mode, it will see the token respond from copy loss. Also, this is the most important part because this plugin is written in Python and you need to enable remote plugin. So if you see here, if you press question mark, this will open this plugin. So from here, you're going to see we have this command, one, two, three, four, five. Five command is written from this folder. And if you run something about like copy load chance table, and this is a common one. This ambiguous view of U35 command. When you see this happen, the mo most of the time I also get go to the remote plugin file. 
to see what you have and if you already have a couple of chance comment on this line which me it's good to go if not you should check the, your configuration maybe missing something like like here i have the the binding so enable so i can so by ccd instead of typing i can buy ccd you can run this also check here couple of charts so check here copy load task and this will running and checking what is your version name what is your buy term if you have buy and or not this is a requirement on the file on the people you just follow this one and you need to is all before raising the question about the issue all right thank you everyone if you have any comment feedback leave comment below happy sunday bye bye